Hello, all my great, grand, glorious Leo friends. This is Maxine Taylor, and I have your October forecast in front of me. But first, oh, I'm so excited to share this with you. Many of you have been asking me, when is my money book going to be published? Okay, today is October 1st. This book, Take Back Your Money, my latest book in the Take Back Your Life series, will be available on both Amazon and my website on the 5th of October, just four days from today. You can see it's the proof. Um, so it's, it's it, we're getting ready to launch. Um, <clears throat> this particular book, um, is one of the most powerful books I could have written because I've been doing this technique for over 40 years. What I show you how to do step by step is release the childhood programming you got that controls your life as an adult. The childhood programming that you are unaware that you receive relating to finances. Um, I have been doing these uh, sessions. I have been doing this in sessions, three hour sessions in which people's lives have been transformed. So this book will be available for purchase on the 5th. I hope you enjoy it. And for those of you who want a personal session with me, which is designed specifically for you and your situation. It's not generic. It's you, three hours, face-to-face -face with me. Just go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com, and um, go to the spiritual services uh, part of the website, and you'll be able to order a session, a face-to-face -face session with me that will cover the details of this book and apply them to you. So I'm really excited to share this with you and I hope you enjoy it. And I hope that after you have read it and done the technique, because I explain exactly how to do it, that you create the wealth that you desire and deserve. Okay, now let's talk about your awesome forecast. Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. This is it. Now, first of all, we know that Mercury is retrograde today and it's getting ready to go direct tomorrow. And there is a tension. Have you noticed there's a tension in the air? Because Mercury is getting ready to change directions. And things are tense very often when this happens. So um, keep calm, wait for Mercury to go direct tomorrow. You may wanna be speaking your mind, chill, chill, sleep on it, okay? I'm speaking from experience, personal experience. It, it just doesn't pay. Because why argue? After Mercury goes direct, you may find that the problem is solved naturally. Okay, then it's in the shadow of the retrograde until the 16th of the month. This means that it's going to feel like Mercury is still retro. It's not, but it feels like it. So you're not crazy. If it feels, you say, well, feels just like Mercury's retrograde. It's supposed to, because this is the time to tie up the loose ends of unfinished projects that you were unable to tie up while Mercury was retrograde. Now, we are in the shadow of the Mars retrograde, and this is very different from our, our Mercury retrograde. When Mercury goes retrograde, everything is confused. 
communication, correspondence, transportation, your mouth, your mind, confused. When Mars, which is action and energy, it's what we fight with and fight for. When it goes retrograde, which it will on the 30th of the month, we flatline. Nothing is happening. It's not confused. It's just not going anywhere, particularly in commerce and industry, which affects all of us in some way, shape, manner, or form. Um, Mars moves much slower than Mercury. So it's going to go through the retrograde cycle, then into the shadow once again, and it will come out of the shadow March 15th, 2023. This is a while. But check with me monthly because uh, Mercury is going to go retrograde during that time, and it'll be a tag team again. And uh, if you're aware of it, you won't drive yourself crazy, okay? And other people won't drive you as crazy as they could if you didn't notice. Okay, so let's talk. Mars is retrograde on the 30th. Uh, right now it's in the shadow and it's in your 11th house of friends, uh, group activities, humanitarian projects. And these, these are the... Um, people and scenarios that you fight with and fight for. So you may be championing something very humanitarian and quite beautiful, but you're in fighting mode, okay? Um, on the 30th, Mars goes retrograde. It loses a lot of its power and energy because it's just flatlining, okay? Be aware of that. Jupiter, let's talk about Jupiter. Jupiter is the greater benefic. Um, when Jupiter is retrograde, it is amazing. First of all, Jupiter is in the ninth house, its own house. And that means that um, your outlook is uh, large you see the far horizon. With Jupiter retrograde, your long distance travel may be frustrated. You may find that um, you're not able to get your long, long distance communication through, your long distance travel. The ninth house also rules higher education. It rules your vision. It's it's just not functioning the way you'd like it to. Okay, on the 28th, it moves back into the eighth house. And there it stays. Uh, it will be retrograde, of course, in the eighth house. This is the house of other people's money. Uh, it's the house of secrets. It is also uh, the house of transformation. And so your belief system is going through a, ma um, a transformation. Um, if you have any money um, invested with other people, you may find that there's a holdup there. At some point down the road, don't you worry, I'll let you know what month that is. Jupiter is going to go direct. And then boom, it's going to fly forward, delivering what it could not deliver while it was retrograde. So let's move ahead to the fast-moving planets. Mercury, the blue planet. This is what we think about and talk about. So we're thinking about money. We're talking about money, right? Ways of creating it, ways of saving it, etc. On the 10th, Mercury joins Venus and the sun in our in your third house of communication. This is when you put your ideas into action, you're talking, you're sharing, you're enjoying communicating with other people. Mercury is not an action planet. It is a thinking planet. It's a communication planet. So keep that in mind. On the 29th, 
Mercury moves into your fourth house of home and family. And this is when there's communication with family um, and thinking about your actual home. So at that point, you may be thinking of renovating, buying, selling, um, or just plain being at home. Now, watch this. Venus is the pink planet. The sun is the yellow planet. Venus is love and beauty and happiness. It's in your third house. And when Venus is in your third house, you're thinking loving thoughts. You're communicating loving thoughts. Third house are your siblings. You can get in touch with them and communicate beautiful ideas together. On the 23rd, Venus moves into your fourth house of home, family, and real estate. And the love that you feel will be expressed toward family members. And the beauty that Venus brings can be expressed in redecorating, renovating, buying, selling, etc. The sun is the yellow planet. And it is also in that third house. And that's the center of our life. Wherever the sun is, that's the center. So siblings, uh, short distance travel. If Jupiter's not cooperating, don't worry. You can take short distance travel um, and communicate your ideas beautifully. This is a great time for your blog, for your videos, for your book that you're writing. All right. On the 23rd of the month, both the sun and Venus at the same time, move into your fourth house of home and family and real estate. And it's just beautiful. So the center of your life becomes home and family and real estate, emotional security, Venus, love, beauty, etc. Mercury, oh yeah, baby. Let's just talk to everybody in the family. So this is a beautiful time to be with family. Now, we have, I need my glasses here, a full moon on the 9th. Um, it sits in the, uh, it's in 16 of Aries, and it sits in the ninth house of your higher mind. And the full moon is when things come to a head. And you want them to come to a head so that you can deal with them. And so... Um, this is you seeing options you didn't know you had. Now, Jupiter being retrograde may not deliver it totally, but you can put your big picture ideas out there. I hope I'm being clear on this. Yes, you can travel. Yes, you can enroll in, in higher education courses. Um, and they will bear fruit when Jupiter goes direct and goes back into the ninth house in a couple of months. Then on the 25th of the month, we have a new moon, which is a solar eclipse. On the 25th, the solar eclipse is in two degrees of Scorpio in that fourth house of home, family, and real estate. The new moon is when energy starts flowing, but an eclipse is very powerful because we feel the effects of an eclipse about two weeks or so before it occurs, and it lasts until the next pair of eclipses come along. Now, there's another eclipse coming in November, so I'll tie these two up with a bow in November. But what the beauty of an eclipse is that it lasts, it brings about bigger change. Um, it it, it kickstarts things on the new moon, which I love. Let me see what else I can share with you. With you. There was something else. Um, yes, because of the next month being the second in the pair, these two eclipses, October and November will be with us till the next pair of eclipses come along in April and May of 2023. So happy 
new moon, solar eclipse. I love it. On the 25th. So there you have it. Have a beautiful October. And join me next month when once again I take a look at your forecast. Until then, my great, grand, glorious Leo friends, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.